Charles play one and two. Now three I'll be talking about soon. Four or five I am not really sure if I want to talk about it. Um, I, I did like four or five. I just didn't really like it as much as I did like as I did one, two, and three. But one, two, and three was more darker. You know, has the church sense of humor, but still, I took church more serious. <laughs> you know. So I don't know, man. I might skip four or five. You, you guys know how I do with these movie franchise reviews. I stick with what I like the most. Um, so I was playing one and two. I uh, definitely like those two movies. Um, part one, I started out with this guy. He was shoot out with a cop. He was crook like. The crook died. And, um, well, actually, he wasn't a crook. He was a, he was a murderer, actually, a strangler. He died. And we found out this guy got some voodoo skills, you know? So he went to the toy store and he put his soul into a, a doll's body, you know. And but cause that's when he was dying. Then you have this lady brought this doll from his bum, and then he took it to his kid. But he wanted a good guy doll so bad, you know, and all of it was sold out pretty much. So anyway, the guy gets the the kid gets the doll. A lot of strange things going around that apartment, like people dying. You know, and he's going after the kid. When he was before that, when Chucky the doll is going after the voodoo priest, he said, "Tell the voodoo priest what does he have to do?" You know, and he tells him about the first one that he opened up to pretty much, which was the kid. So the doll would have to transfer his soul to the kid, and anyone gets in his way, people start dying. The mother knows about it now, and then she tells the cop, you know, that this doll is fucking alive, you know, pretty much, and uh. The doll's going after the kid, and, and you know, there's like kill scenes. A lot of good kill scenes in this movie I like. I really enjoy them. You know, like the hammer or the execution scene, let's put it like that. And then you get the finale scene where they start fighting the mother, you get the cop getting involved, fighting against the doll, the kids fighting against the doll, burn the fucking doll, Chucky doll, you know. And then you, then you get Chucky Charles Play Part 2. But this time, the brother of the bun doll in the toy store. It's like to bring that fucking doll back to life. Like, who does that shit in real life? Like, who wants to bring back that doll? Not to life, but just to, to rebuild it. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? You know, which they really did. You know, so it's like, they scrape, it, scrape the doll ashes out, put his head into the new the guy's body, and there's an accident went on in the toy store. The guy tried to fix this for Tristy, he got shot. Um, one of the workers from the toy store brought the doll with him, the doll stopped killing him. It was funny, but there's some there stupid moments in this when the dolls and Chucky, he makes a phone call to the orphanage, right? And I'm like, how does he fucking know? You know, so how does he know he can find Andy? You know, you'd be wondering that shit. Excuse me. So anyway. So anyway, he, he goes to the orphan he goes to the home where Andy's staying, the orphanage home of the adopted parents. And um, Chucky saw the other good guy doll, and then he beats it up, and he kind of like, kind of like, kind of like go undercover and shit. He's like, I'm going after Andy this time. And then when the doll was alive, he was ready to possess Andy's body, and then the, the adopted daughter sneaks to the house, and then the doll runs away. And then he was, the cat was tied on the pants, not blaming the daughter. And the doctor goes like, wait, you trying to do this? And then he's trying to sneak in the palace. It's not her, it's like a doll. So then you get the doll in the fucking house. And Andy's like sleeping, you know that Chucky's right there and shit. So imagine how his eyes his eyes are wide open, like you know, Andy's coming after me. You know, he's coming after me. You know, that's like one of those stupid moments where you're like, shit, man. Get the fuck out of the house. You know? But uh, I feel like Charles played too anyway, I still do like it. Anyway, wow. This, while he's going to school, um, Chucky's following him to school. Yeah, right. He kills the school teacher, and um, he the parents he went he went out to school for the whole fucking blame and finally got back to the house. Most of us the dolls back to the house, and then the dolls start going on the killing spree, start killing killed the dad, then he kills the mom, um, the mom. I mean the adopted mom. But before that, adopted mom said. And he back to the orphanage, you know, it's like, go back to the orphanage. So then, Chucky's in the house, killing the mom, ready to kill the daughter. But he didn't kill the daughter, he captured the daughter. 
So you can take to the door, you can take trips to the adapt, adaptive agency home, the main adaptive agency home, and then you can just set up an alarm, or, or alarm, fire alarm, and wait for an hour, and then check to kill the owner of the adaptive agency, and then while Andy and the adaptive door ready run out, and um, check to capture Andy, lock the door out from the other side, and he's taking Andy to inside the newspaper truck. You know, fucking the whole new hostage. <laughs> I love these child figures. They, 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 I might even do four or five now after this. Um, so anyway, we need to get a good, good, good guys factory. You get the battle scene with, with the Dr. Doyle and Andy teaming up, battling the Chucky Dolly in the factory. One of the factory worker died. He got like plastic eyeballs now. He died when he was trying to fix the machine. You get this awesome battle scene. just like going at it. You know, trying to rock cat and mouse time, you know. And they kill the Chucky like about three times with this little movie, still coming back. I so saw so the end part of it when he was like all melted up and shit. And he blew his head up with an air pump. And at the end, you know, the of course the child's play through, we all know how Chucky comes back alive this time. You know, when he was all melted, of course they melted him again at the beginning of Child's Play 3, which I'll get back. In later in a later video vlog, but all in all, I really want to try to enjoy it. It was it was a fun horror, you know. Um, Charles Play Three, I like Charles Play Four, Five. I always said to be, I was I'm not going to talk about it, but you know what? I might consider to do a DVD or after talk about Four Two now. But anyway, guys, peace.